third. 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey. Uh, it was discovered using their uh, telescope at Rio Hurtado in Chile, and it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. We collected a good amount of data, more than 100 observations. We know its trajectory fairly well. We know it came from outside the solar system. Right now, it's inside uh, the orbit of Jupiter, and it's headed for its closest pass to the Sun at the end of October. That's going to be barely inside the orbit of Mars, and then it's going to keep going on its way out of the solar system. Uh, from images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet. Right now it's hard to say how big this object is, because being active, the brightness that we see is partially due to the size of the object, but also uh, is partially due to the activity, and so we cannot really pinpoint the nucleus uh, size directly. We have to better understand how active this object is, and then we can, uh, we can refine the size estimate and get a good idea. It's moving at a velocity of about 135,000 miles per hour, so it's going really fast. For that distance from the sun, this is really exceptional. You have to be an interstellar object to be going that fast at that distance from the sun. This object comes nowhere close to the Earth. It's going to uh, make a pass close-ish to Mars at about 30 million kilometers or roughly 20 million miles from the red planet, but nowhere close to the Earth. It's not going to make a close approach, major close approach to any of the planets. So no risk from this object, just a scientific opportunity. The more data we get, the better we, we, we can measure the position of this object as it travels through the solar system and, and it moves out of it. But we also want to collect physical characterization data. For instance, we would like to understand better what the size of this object could be, the composition, the levels of activity. We're just bracing ourselves to get as much information as possible. We're really excited about this object. So far, we've discovered three interstellar objects. The first one was Oumuamua in 2017, the second one, Borisov in 2019, and now we have the third one, 3i Atlas. So it's a rare opportunity, and uh, as a scientific community, we want to collect as many data as possible to, uh, to characterize this object and learn as much as we can.